So, okay, I am like so excited for our Europe trip. Not gonna lie, I'm like low key scared. I'm like, why am I scared? But it's like, it's so, it's a, it's like a good scare. It's like a, oh my gosh, like we're literally gonna be in a different country like this time next week. Hello guys and welcome to my Paris vlog. Over the next month, I'm showing you my travels with my best friend from college, Jacqueline, and I'm so excited to take you guys along with us. <laughs> After our international flight, we were so hungry, so we headed to the corner bakery to get some food, and the man who owns it was so sweet. He was a perfect introduction to Paris. OG fans will know. <laughs> 10 days in Europe with best friend from college, Devin, and like she said, the OGs will know me, and we've glowed up since then, so appreciative of that. I think I'm most excited to get like Oh yeah. We took the train into the city, and coming up from the metro station was a surreal moment. <laughs> wow. Shut up. We got a lot of recommendations from our Airbnb host, but once we got downtown, we just wandered around and saw what we stumbled upon, which is honestly my favorite way to see a new city. Ladies, we're in Paris! It's it. more beautiful than I think we even imagined. Exactly. As we walked along the streets, we were just taking in the sights, and one thing we really noticed was the way the Parisian women dress. All black, all neutral colors, but they're always dressed to the nines. And I really want to bring that style with me in America. I think it's so beautiful and chic. Next thing we came across was the Louvre. By this point, we were pretty hungry, so we were looking for a cafe, but not before we took in this beautiful view. And then we made our way to the Eiffel Tower. Jet lag got the best of us, so we didn't end up waking up until 11, but when we did, this is what we saw. Good morning, guys. We are in Paris. Well, we're not actually in Paris. We're in like the outskirts of Paris, but this Airbnb is so cute. We have this beautiful window that shows us literally all of the city, all of the rooftops. We're on the fifth floor, so we're pretty high up. And we're just so excited to be here. This is actually our last day. We are only here for a very short time, two days. And everyone we've told that has been like, oh my gosh, why would you say in Paris for longer? But we're getting a little taste of everything and then we're spending a good bit of time in the Amalfi Coast. We've never been to Europe, neither one of us, and we just wanted a reason to come back. I definitely will come back, but we're gonna spend our last day together. Quickly showing you guys our Airbnb. We're staying with Duan in his house in a little private room. There's two of us, there's me, there's Jacqueline, and then obviously we have this lovely view, which I still cannot get over. A computer where you can watch some TV. We haven't been watching really any TV, but then there's also this beautiful blue wardrobe. It's kind of giving me a little bit of inspo. How cute is that? And then there's me. I brought a few protein bars for snacks, but I was in dire need for some fruit, so we stopped by Biosibon and picked some up, then headed into the city. Merci. Today we were headed to the Sacre Cœur, which is a Roman Catholic church and minor basilica in Paris, France, dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. You can find the Sacre Cœur located in the hilltop village called Montmartre. Back in the 1870s, it was believed that a new church would do well to reunite the public as well as forgive the French of their sins since the French Revolution. And in 1875, the first stone of the Sacre Cœur was laid. Because of World War One, the opening of the church had to be put on hold, but five Finally, in 1919, the Sacre Cœur was finally formally consecrated. We need to 
We decided to make the climb to the top and I'm so glad that we did. Being in this church made me feel so close to God, honestly closer than I felt in a while and it was an unreal experience. After wandering the streets a bit, we headed to the Notre Dame and how beautiful is she? This entire day, I was pinching myself just to make sure I was actually living real life and not in this crazy, vivid dream. The magic of Paris really did get me. Okay, I think this is my favorite part of Paris. Favorite. We walked over to Cafe de Flore and I know we sat by someone famous or important. Everyone was at his beck and call. He said the kindest words to us and even left us with a little drink as he was leaving. And as we were leaving, we stumbled upon the most precious wedding. Oh, she's glowing. If there's one thing we indulged on in Paris, it was definitely the desserts. We stopped in this cute little bake shop and we got some carrot cake and red velvet cake and it was probably the best cake I've ever tasted in my life. Not being dramatic at all, it was just really good. Maybe it just tasted better because we were in Paris. Finally, we wanted to see the Eiffel Tower in the daytime, so we started walking in that direction and stumbling on a few things as we were going. I always love finding green spaces in the middle of cities. This one is called Esplanade des Invalides and it was beautiful. Sometimes when I travel, I just find it so unreal that people actually live this life every single day. They get to see these things every day. They live with the Eiffel Tower in their point of view every day. And it's just unreal to me sometimes, the thought of that. And finally, we made it to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I love it during the day, honestly. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I take my everyday surroundings for granted that nothing looks this special to me. But I think- It gives you appreciation for your- For my, wow. yes. Wow. Actually being here, I've thought about Greenville and like this whole thing, and it's made me like so thankful that we're doing it. It's made me even more right, thankful. right, yeah. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Bye, Paris. Any last words for Paris? We love you, Paris. You are wonderful to us, and we had such a great time. And we love you, Paris. We love you, Paris. <laughs> and on to Nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try one more. Okay, ready? You said go to the right?